Uh, welcome to uh, Who's Up Next. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and introduce yourself, tell everybody where you're from and what you do. My name is uh, Keith Keeler Hertz. I'm a producer, uh, engineer, uh, mix and master engineer. So that's pretty much what I do. Okay. And when did you start uh, making beats? Man, I've been making beats since about like around the time Kanye came out. What year was that? I was like 2000 and what, nine? Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not even, I'm not even sure. What year was that, G? Two, like, I don't know, but... 2004, right? Like like 2004, 2005. So yeah, I've been making beats since then. You know what I'm saying? Like he was like pretty much honestly like my inspiration for even producing. Cause before him, I was playing football and shit in high school. Thomas Jefferson, shout out to Jeff Orange Wave. You know what I'm saying? Um, and what did you hear from Kanye that made you be like, like I, I want to do this? I want to start making beats as well. It's not what I heard. It's what I saw. Okay. And what did you say? Uh, I heard the music first, and I and I and I and I and I and I, and I loved it. It was like it was it was crazy awesome. But when I saw the images, it, I mean, the images of him and him being in the studio, it just was like, yo, that should look mad cool. Like I want to be in the studio. Like that's that's what I want to be. Like it just looked like a, a, the place to be. Like woo, I want I want to see what that's about. You know what I'm saying? Like. You remember your first beat? Man, first beat you ever made I, I, I remember, but yeah, hell yeah, I remember my first beats, my first batch of beats. I was making beats on the PlayStation generator. Back in the day when play, I don't know if you remember yeah, PlayStation yeah, had yeah, it, but yo, I was making yo, I was making PlayStation, I was making beats on that joint, and I was recording it on the VHS shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so I was like recording it like this. It was crazy. So yeah, I remember it's it's crazy because one day like I felt like I had these hottest beats. So it was like the 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 shit that I made from back then, and I took it to my boy Trip Crib, um, Triple Triple Beam. He made beats for like MOP niggas back in the day. Shouts to him. Shouts to Triple Beam. Um, and um, it was him, Lawrence, um, Pressure. That's his name, Pressure. Pressure was in the room, a few other dudes, and I was playing the beats, right? And I was just feeling them. It was, they just start laughing at me mad hard, like, ah! <laughs> like, yo, this is, this is trash, bro. And I was just like, I was like, all right, watch, watch, watch. So I just kept working, 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 and then, like, you know, like, now it's just like, yo, they're like, yo, dog, like, this is just crazy, man. Like, and man. Bring, bring us back to, like, when you first. What was the first program you ever started using when you started making these? Reason. The generator, reason. Reason. After after that was reason. I remember uh, I got a CD of reason from my boy, and I was just mad excited to just like put it on somebody's computer. So this girl, uh, well actually, the woman who I have two kids with right now. Uh, back in the day, we was dating in high school, and uh, I was at her sister house, and I put it on her sister computer in the living room, and I wasn't supposed to do that shit, because I said, you know, her sister was one of those sisters that be, be bitching about everything, like, you know what I'm saying? We got to sneak in the living room and do everything, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, uh, anyway, I put it on her computer, and I was just, like, messing around with it, and then I remember I used to take it to my boy upstairs, Craig, his crib. I put it on his computer just to, just, just to mess around with it, just to see what it was about for a little while, you know what I'm saying? And then my boy Tyson from next door blessed me with a computer. Shouts to Tyson, you know what I'm saying? He blessed me with a computer, and, uh, and and it changed my life, man. Like, I was able to just, like, make beats in the crib. But even before that, I had a MIDI keyboard before I had anything, any music in the crib. I had a MIDI keyboard, and I, and I just had, like, the vision. I had, like, uh, pictures on the on a mirror of, like, equipment that I wanted to get and shit. It was just like... <laughs> it was just like... Yeah, man. You're right, you know? Definitely. It's like, God is good, man. This is... Where do you, uh, let's talk about your name. Where do you get that name from? Keys Kilohertz comes from, all right, so back in the day, how did it come about? All right, it was like this, right? People used to always, always call me Kilo coming up, right? Like my, like, like, like my boys Cash, they used to always call me Kilo, Kilo, Kilo. But I never wanted to associate myself with Kilo because I'm not a drug dealer type thing, you know what I'm saying? So... So somehow I figured out how to put the music with the with the kilo with the HZ with the with, with the hertz with the kilohertz. Okay. So so I was like, all right. So I'm gonna do the kilohertz. You know what I'm saying? Kilo HZ. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So then I, then I was like, wait. Then I could put the keys in front of it. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, keys kilohertz. You know what I'm saying? Because then people's calling me keys too. Yeah. And so it was just like you know I don't know. It just came about like people that was, just like. That was a good inventive way to do it. From. Mm -hmm. A drug dealing standpoint where it could be associated with drugs. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Word, word, word. 
So it was it was definitely cool how that came about. Cause I remember like before it came about, I was just like thinking like, damn, like how am I gonna get a name? Like what's gonna be the name for my set? Like you know what I'm saying? Like, but you know that just showed the power of your mind. You know what I'm saying? Like when you like when you really focus and 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 really put your mind up to to what you want to do, like. Right. You could like we could really do amazing things, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, yeah, you know, it's, it's just take time, you know. You just gotta have that patience, you know what I'm saying? And in, in, in the meantime, just be, you know, steadfast, you know, just keep, you know what I'm saying? You know, but uh, yeah, so yeah, man, just stay focused one day at a time for all the producers that just started, for everybody that's responding, just one day at a time. Right. <laughs> right. Word, you know. Let's um, talk about your first type of equipment that you first got physically and investing into yourself and taking yourself more seriously. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. When did that come about? Um, my first piece of equipment, like I said, um, was the MIDI keyboard. Like when I was staying with my, with, with my mother back in the day, I had a MIDI keyboard and then, uh, you know, her friend got an audio interface for me and then Tyson gave me the computer and I was there. Then I had reason. So it just all like came together, you know what I'm saying? So, um, but after that, over time, you know, um, you know, I definitely just brought stuff like over time, just invested in gear and stuff like that. But right now, you know, uh, I'm definitely going to invest in myself as far as uh, getting, uh, building my studio. The top notch is going to be a top notch studio. The creation station is on its way. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so let's talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Station. We Tell definitely. Everybody, what that is and the center behind that. Yeah. Definitely. So the creation station is the place where artists could come and pretty much come with a blank piece of paper and get. A beautiful painting you know what I'm saying a masterpiece after you know what I'm saying whatever whatever vision you have in mind you could we could create that for you you know what I'm saying so you could get that at the creation station because like a lot of people who I know they're like yo kids I go to a lot of I go to a lot of studios and I, but these, these engineers man they'll be they'll be giving a fuck so they be getting on my nerves so like they'll be like you know what I'm saying and it's like when, when you're dealing with me I care about what you're doing you know what I'm saying like we gonna it's, it's, it's it's like we delivering a baby, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm the doctor, you know what I'm saying? You come to me, I'm a I'm a killer hurt, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> killer hurt, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what? But, uh, what does the artist get at the creation station? Man, whatever. Everything they get. They they get quality production, quality songwriting. You know, they get quality everything all around the board. Like nothing is nothing is gonna be anything that's expected. You know, it's gonna be always. Sounding great, top notch, pushing the next level, and just cool, fun shit, good vibe. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's pretty much what you get at the Creation Station. You know, messing, you know, dealing with, uh, doing business with Keys Kilohertz. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and G. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much what it is right now. 